Hi, I'm Venus O'Hara and welcome to a new video. Today I wanted to share with you my latest podcast, uh, Guided Meditation with Visualization. It's called Reach Your Potential and it's all about thinking big. I created this uh, visualization and affirmations meditation because this is something that I've been struggling with a lot. I made, I made a video about a month or so ago all about my imposter syndrome, which is something that most people do go through. But with me, it's like, I think... Um, I have developed this resilience of struggle, which is good when you need to struggle, but sometimes when you're so used to struggling, it can be hard to imagine things being things working out in a way that feels easy. I think I've been brought up in a way that um, I perceive, you know, you have to work really hard and sweat just to kind of get results in life in general. And if things come easy to me, it feels like I don't deserve them or something like that. And I think a lot of people do, uh, this happens to a lot of people. But in my particular case, I'm getting a bit frustrated now. I'm getting a bit frustrated because I do want to achieve greater things. I mean, I'm very happy with all the things I am achieving in life. There are some great things, but there's something inside that's not quite matching up. And um, a perfect example of this is actually my podcast, The Orgasmic Lifestyle. Um, it's I started my podcast three years ago and I was, I was working with an agency in the UK and they did everything for me. They did guest outreach, which was very interesting because when you have, let's say, my people speaking to someone else's people, it all seems more kind of... Uh, how, do, how would I say it, formal or a bit more kind of, I don't know how to express it, but a bit more VIP kind of thing, rather than me looking for my own guests. And I used to get these emails um, from Calendly saying, so-and-so has booked an appointment on your podcast. And I was like, I was thinking, who are they? And I would look them up and they were huge. They were New York Times bestselling authors, TEDx speakers, TED, TED speakers, and people who were thought leaders in their own um, subjects. It's just that I hadn't heard of them before. So I was kind of like, oh, wow, isn't that amazing? So it was a, it was really, it was, it was an incredible process. But ever since I stopped working with that agency, I've been working with some uh, PR agencies in the US and they keep sending me these incredible guests, um, guests who are New York Times bestselling authors, um, thought leaders, as I've said before, and people who definitely have what I want, um, the perfect, not the perfect, but the business model that I am striving to create, which is, um, for example, being a thought leader, having online courses, premium rates, coaching, and um, what else? Yeah, just a content creator as well. But I'm really de developing a personal brand, which goes beyond influencer marketing it's a bit more than than uh, what you your social media is kind of like an amplification of your real juice which is a book a, a talks and um yeah courses and maybe premium level coaching as well so um all of these people are very inspiring to me and often when i am interviewing them i'm, I'm kind of like starstruck after or I feel like I'm having, I'm doing cerebral aerobics because it's so stimulating. And because of the time difference, because my uh, guests are all in the US, um, I could, I, it's kind of hard for me to sleep after I give an interview on my podcast. And I have a very kind of good vibe with my guests most of the time, which you can perceive if you do watch the videos of my podcast interviews, um, which are on my other channel, The Orgasmic Lifestyle, or if you listen to my podcast. But I've always had this internal perception that they are here and I'm here. I don't know why that is. Um, well, I don't have those things yet, but I'm developing them. So I wanted to really identify what it was um, or how I can actually get to that level. And I don't think it's anything to do with what I'm doing because I've spoken to many people who are coaches and growth coaches um, who've actually, you know, um, who've actually given me the green light on the strategies that I have in place to make this growth. The thing that's actually going wrong for me is actually my self-concept, self-perception. Uh, and um, so I've been working a lot on that lately. So anyway, to cut a long story short, I have created this website, this not a website, this uh, meditation all about thinking big, because I was thinking, what do I need? What do I need? So I uh, created a visualization, which is, um, it's basically a, a walk on a beach and you are imagining you're not imagining, but you're looking at the horizon. Well, imagining you're looking at the horizon, and just seeing that that there's not, there are no limits. Only we put the limit on ourselves. 
And um, sometimes if, if you say, for example, to someone, imagine an amount of money that's going to make you happy. It's only us who, it's only ourselves who actually put the limit on. Because we get to a point where this feels okay and achievable, but here it feels a little bit, ooh, I don't think I deserve that. So it's about expanding that that point of where of comfort, really, and um, and vision about how we see our own ambition or our own potential. So this uh, meditation I actually uh, f- launched on Friday, last Friday night for the new moon. Not, not for the new moon, sorry, a third quarter moon, because every third quarter moon I publish a meditation. And it's had so many downloads since then. It's been incredible. I think a lot of people are um, feeling the need to, or the need or the desire to reach their potential and think bigger than what they are already thinking. And it's already had many repeat uh, listens as well, which is kind of cool. And I've listened to it myself. And I do feel this kind of like shift happening. So I do believe that uh, meditation, um, affirmations, visualizations are ways to kind of reprogram your subconscious. And that is how you can change your life. Because I think you're your reality is a result of your um, subconscious mind. And if you're putting all these limits on, then you're gonna find um, obstacles in your real life. Another thing that's helping me a lot is this book called The Magic of Thinking Big by David J. Schwartz. This book is a classic book. It's from 1959. I read it at the beginning of this year and I decided to go back and read it again. It's got 13 chapters. And I'm actually, uh, I've started a study group with a friend and we are going to meet in five-star hotel rooftop so we can kind of absorb this abundance and, and just discuss um, each chapter. So I think that's really important to be, you know, comfortable in the surroundings that um, it's not really, it doesn't really matter where you are, but I think um, just to be in the surroundings that do feel um, abundant. I mean, sometimes people can feel very uncomfortable if they are, they are in luxurious surroundings. I want to kind of, I want to get used to comfort, and um, so that, that's a little little exercise that I am doing. And the chapter we've just done is believe you can and you will, and that's so important because um, so many people have these limiting beliefs, myself included. So yeah, it's about stopping those beliefs and taking and noticing them in your mind and just saying no and just replacing it with a bigger, better thought. And um, I think um, some people might not like this topic. They might think it's um, about being materialistic, about being greedy, or, but it's not at all about uh, like that. For me, I don't think I consider myself to be a materialistic person at all. I do like comfort though in my life. And I think once you have more um, financial abundance, especially, then you can start outsourcing more. You can start growing more. There's just so much more that you can do. It brings you flexibility and stability at the same time. That's something I love about um, abundance, financial abundance specifically, because these are two opposite forces, the flexibility to um, be in control of your time and then do different things on a whim. And then also that stability of not having to worry. Because I mean, I've spent so much of my life um, I've spent a lot of my life, um, you know, um, surviving with not much. And those times might be good for um, the contents of a book. For example, when I came to Barcelona, I came on a night train with 400 euros. I ate once a day. You know, so, so having those stories of resilience can, can be kind of good, especially when there's an evolution involved. But you can't stay in that, that, um, that mode of struggle all the time. Yeah, you want to kind of just chill and sleep. And not sleep, but just enjoy life in a comfortable, comforting way. So I invite you to check out this meditation. I am loving it personally. I'm really happy with the quality of it and the messaging, and I'm using it myself. And I know I'm not the only one. It's had hundreds of downloads in the last two days and people who are repeating it. So yeah, I'm super proud of it. So the links are below. And I also uh, recommend this book if you are interested in, if if you like personal development, this is a classic. And um, it's a great book, The Magic of Thinking Big. Anyway, that's it for today. Thank you for watching. And um, yeah, let me know what you think. Thank you. Adios. Also, before I go, um, I created a life uh, upgrade meditation, which is 100 powerful meditation affirmations that represent the 12 areas of the life wheel. So if you'd like to upgrade your life in many areas, such as relationships, love, health, family, um, career, and all of those things, then check it out. And the link is below. And that's it. So I'll see you soon with more videos.